Hey guys, welcome to my video. Sorry I'm kind of shoved in the corner of my room today, but um, my room's a mess. So, and it's comfortable here, so I'm on my bed. Today I'm going to show you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. My aesthetic, if you will, is kind of like black and white, very, mo very monochrome and very clean and simple. There are a few apps and a few different filters I use to help me achieve this look. So yeah, I'm just going to go through that with you guys today. And I will be looking down for the majority of this video because as you can see, um, let's do that so no one disturbs us. As you can see, I'm recording my phone and my phone's down here. So I just want to want to go through it all, but I've already taken the pictures and this is basically one of my uh, Mickey Mouse cap and a few little bits I got on my desk. I really like interior pictures, but as you can see the whites are a little bit yellow because it is the evening and um, my room light is on, it's got that kind of orange cast to it. Um, so the first app I'm going to use right away, um, I've shown you guys before, um, is the Facetune app. This was cheaper when I bought it, but I think the price has gone up a little bit now. Um, that's one I did before. Here we go, so I just select the picture. So I try to get everything correct in shot as much as I can, but like I said, there are some things you can't help, like the orangey lighting. Uh, the desk and the wall is plain white, very, very white, so it looks yellow here and I don't like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the filters. And this is something I do on all my pictures because I want them to kind of look very, very similar. I'm just going to lighten that and then I'm going to OK that. And then I'm going to go back into the filters and then I'm going to go to black and white silver. And as you can see what it's done now, it's taken all the bluey and orangey and yellowy tones out of the picture. And now everything that is black in real life is black on here and everything that is white in real life is white on here. But as you can see, that cactus is definitely not grey, so I want to change that. So I'm going to go to wipe. What I love about this app is it allows you to um, add the filter only in sections that you want. So it lets you paint it in, or it lets you brush it out. So I'm going to zoom in to that cactus. Cacti? Cactus is... One cactus. Cacti, I don't know. Let me know. Cactus or cacti for one? I can't remember what it is. And I'm just going to wipe that colour away. Being careful not to go over anything else. And what I like about this is in case you forget where the colour is, you can just kind of press on that blue button there and it shows you what it looked like before you applied the filter. So yeah, I'm just going to go in all around the sides, get all them prickly bits in. Uh, but I also don't want to get the, the picture on the back. As you can see, it's like a little bit bluey toned and yellowy toned. So I am just kind of going to avoid the very top of them little pricks there. Okay, cool, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, so that was very, very simple, really. so that would be my picture done. But one thing I also like is, as you can see in the, rep the reflection of the frame, you can see my messy bed in it, and I don't like that, so I'm gonna okay that. But I'm gonna go back into the filters, and I'm gonna darken that frame. There you go. But I don't like how dark it's made the rest of the picture, so I'm going to do what I did before, and I'm going to go to wipe, but I'm going to press clear. And then what that allows us to do is just paint that back in. It's not making a huge difference, but the difference is there. And I'm just going to go over the white eyes for now, because what I can do... I just do it roughly, and then I'm going to go back in and rub out where I don't want this darker filter to be. And then you can zoom in if you want to be extra, extra, um, if you want to get all that finer detail in, then you can zoom in. I used to do this if there was like a particular detail on like a pair of white trainers, for example. If there was gold on the white trainers, um, I would zoom right in, like you go really, really far in, and like just do pixel by pixel. And you know what, people may be thinking like, why is he spending this long on a picture? Well, because, um, I care about the aesthetic of my profile, and as a photographer graduate, photography graduate, um, this kind of comes natural to me, and I cannot stand if there's, you know, I'll forever look at the picture and think that's not good enough. Okay, so this is where it can get a little bit, you know, if you are a perfectionist, there's nothing wrong with that, um, and this is what I like to do, especially with clothing, if I feel clothing isn't sit sitting right on me, or I'm not complementing the shape of the jacket, for example, I will use the next tool to kind of reshape um, items. So, that shape is the reshape tool. 
Now, you've got to be really careful with this one if you're using this particular app, because Reshape does that. Get rid of that. Whereas Refine does only certain little areas. So what I'm going to do is, I don't like the shape of the Mickey Mouse ears here. For some reason, they look really, really flat and weird. They're not like that in real life. They're round. So I always think there's no problem with changing something. If it hasn't photographed well in a picture, there's no problem changing it into how it looks in real life. That is why I will always remove spots in pictures because they are not a true representation of yourself. They're not permanent. They are only temporary. So you can just get rid of them spots straight away. But yeah, so we're going to refine these ears. I just want to make them a little bit rounder, like the normal Mickey Mouse kind of ears. Not be mega picky because again, it is fabric, so it's not going to be perfect in real life either. Push that a little bit there. See, like now I'm getting a little bit too much into it. I don't like using this tool too much because then you can start doing it on your face and you'll start doing it on your hair and bits that don't really need doing. So as you can see, it's just kind of made them rounder and a little bit bigger. Just to add like a cool, a lot cooler kind of aesthetic to it. So I'm going to okay that one. And then I like that. So I'm going to save that. Save that to my camera roll. Now, like I said, I use a couple of apps when it comes to this. So I'm now going to go into one of my favorite apps is Afterlight. And then I'm going to open the picture that we just retouched. There we go. And what I'm going to do in Afterlight is I'm going to play around with the brightness of the contrast and the kind of darkness and deepness of the shadows. As you can see, what Shadows does, I've just selected that, is it kind of takes out any kind of detail and fades it, or then you can make them really, really dark. Um, here, I want to make them a little bit darker. Only a tiny little bit, I find that the tiniest kind of um, little tweaks kind of can make or break the picture. Um, so yeah, it's you have to be careful not to go too crazy with this, not to go over the top of these apps. Then what I'm going to do as well, because it was very, very dark in my room when I took this picture, it can get rid of some of the sharpness of the picture. And when it all gets a little bit blurry, the picture doesn't look as professional, it doesn't look as cool. So I'm just going to turn up the sharpness a little bit. There we go. Then with this app again, just by pressing the image, you can see it before and then you can see it after. Now I'm going to lighten the image a little bit in here as well. Cool, and then I feel like I've brightened that a little bit too much now, so I'm going to go into the contrast and I'm going to make them blacks back to black again. There we go, and then what you can do in this app as well is you can also crop it. So sometimes if I haven't already taken the picture in a square, which I mainly do because all my pictures I like to be Instagram ready, um, I'll open it in here then crop it before I edit it. But here you can get rid of like a little bit of negative space that you don't really need. Um, so I've done that, I don't really like it, I think I prefer the more amount of white, so I'm just going to go back on that. That is done. Save that to my camera roll. I just noticed there is a big bit of dust on that picture, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... <laughs> I need to dust my room so much. So we are now going to go to Easy Eraser. I believe this is another app I've spoken about before. Um, that selfie, look at that. Um, there, choose that. Then with this app, it's really, really cool. It's kind of, it works better on plain white surfaces, for example, but what I'm going to do is tick zoom. Then I'm just going to select the brush and I'm going to brush over that bit of dust. And then there's two bits here as well. Then you just click perform erase. That's pretty quick. And then there we go, it's all gone. Then you keep that. Okay, so I'm just going to save that now. And then, of course, I'm going to load it into Instagram. Load it into Instagram. I sound like, sound like an old lady. So there it is. It's there. I'm just going to next that. Then I don't really like to write too many captions. And I don't like using the Instagram filters because um, they make me feel a little bit sick. Um, so I'm just going to do the old kind of monochrome emojis. Where's that white circle? Okay, that, then share that. Then what I like to do is I like to put my hashtags in a comment section because then it doesn't look as messy and it doesn't look too busy. Workspace. Workspace is a cool Instagram if you want to look at other people's kind of like creative hubs. It's quite nice to kind of share and get ideas on how you can create your own kind of creative space. And then a final hashtag, monochrome. And that is it. There we go. So then that is loaded onto my Instagram page. And there it is, guys. So I hope that kind of taught you how to, you know, kind of work your own aesthetic and then use these apps and these filters to kind of help enhance what's already there in the picture. 
Let me know if you use these apps below, then also your favourite apps for editing pictures. And of course, if you want to see more pictures like this one, follow me on all my social down below. That's Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram and Periscope. I'm also thinking I might get a Tumblr soon. Let me know what you guys think. But that's it for now, guys. I will see you next time.